Hey guys, it's Sherry. I'm back. Let's see, what is today? 17th of April. It's, uh, yeah, it's Wednesday. Hump day. Woohoo. Um, just put video up late that I did on Sunday, but anyway, it's up. Regardless, I haven't talked much this week. Been busy, as usual. Everything's Google. Getting ready for Google. We'll be so glad when it's over. So, you can guarantee next week, week of the 22nd, I will not have a video. <laughs> More than likely not anyway. Um, unless I get some crazy time. So let's see. What have I done since I talked to you last? I worked on... You know what? I never do the intro stuff. So, hi, I'm Sherry. I'm a cross-stitcher. This channel is about cross-stitching. Maybe a little quilting, a lot about life a little bit about everything. Let's just have fun, right? That's what we're here for. So, long story short. I'm trying to remember what I talked to you about last week. If I told you about all the fun things, yes, we did talk about the fact that we did the round robin, started the round robin. At least I think we did. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look at my old video. Anyway, Started around Robin, finished it. Yeah, I think we talked about it because I recorded it on Sunday. Okay, so what I stitched on since then. Sunday night and Monday night, I stitched on a thing called You Rock by Stitch Rovia. Looks like that when it's done. And it's meant to look like a, a record, right? So I did everything from here down basically another page finish. It has one page here, one page here, and it will be done. So this is probably going to go, because it stitches up really fast, probably going to go into my whoops be gone pile for this year, because um, I think I could finish it in, you know, two days of solid stitching. Solid stitching. It only takes, now that I have the center finish, it's just three colors of uh, 310, 844, and 646. Piece of cake, right? So put that one over there. What I stitched on last night, what I will stitch on tonight, is Fox Club by Nora Corbett. Had that one signed by her, by a retreat in 2017, 2018, 18. And that is where I am after stitching on it last night. Um, basically added a bunch in here, a little in there, a lot in there, and this out here is new. So... Hopefully, I will be able to fill in a little bit more. She has a crap ton of beads. I'd show them to you, but they're all in the other room. But basically, all those holes are beads. Yeah, all, yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots of beads. So that's where that one's at. Oh, that is the bag. Where you rock, it goes over there. I've been doing just a smidgen of stitching on my lost Last Supper. Working in the hair up here, getting backstitching done. Sorry, try not to rub that. So, plans. What are plans? Let's see. Let's talk about plans. Plans. The next project in the list Midnight Watch by Blackbird Studios. Blackbird Designs. Blackbird Designs. Hang on. Let me get all the floss off. Lots of floss off of that, baby. This is just a minimal start. I think I might have showed this to you already. Just the star and the door. It's done. So that'll be for two days. I had to start pre-planning for stuff that's getting packed to go to Google with me because I will be able to stitch in my room in the evenings. So these may or may not be in the right order of when what's getting stitched gets done. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, it's tomorrow. <laughs> Got called away and was not able to to get back to you guys last night. Um, life. Life happens. All right, so it is now 9 a.m., April 18th. I have stitched again on Fox Glove, This Beauty, and... That's where we ended up last night. Got some more filled in down here and a lot filled in here and a little over there. And so that is has had its last 
trip. And you know what? Let me take this out of QSnap and you can actually see this beautiful fabric that I'm sorry is not available anymore. It's a Sunny Dice fabric that is just gorgeous. This is half of it. It was a fat quarter. And so I saved the other half for another uh, beautiful Nora Corbett. But isn't that just gorgeous? And isn't she just going to be perfect on that? I need more hands. <laughs> so that's where that one is. And I told you she had lots of beads. Let me see. Where's the bead pack? It's underneath here somewhere. Lots of, lots of pretty beads. There's one hiding behind there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six packs of beads. So that's what got done on that one. And then we were talking about plans, but I don't think I got that far. Um, let me get all these q snap things out of the way. Just in the way. All right, move that over there. So, yes, tonight and tomorrow we'll be working on Midnight Watch, which we talked about yesterday. And then I pulled all of the stuff for... going to Google or the next several projects anyways and I don't know what order they're in so it doesn't really matter um I think this one is next oh I just closed it instead of opening it so this is the preschooler Christmas Eve yes this is one of the cheap reprints but hey I got the pattern right and it is I don't know. Ah, poop. I just pulled all of the floss out of the bag with it. It was in the center. I think I caught them all on my lap here. Okay, good to go. This was a mania start. We're working in 2018 uh, projects now. Oh, that needs something behind it. This is just, uh, I believe it's a 28 count linen, maybe a 32. And I just got started on a reindeer. So that's that reindeer guy right there in the middle. Started up his neck, got the little, I don't know what he called, harness started. And so that's where that one will pick up at. And I don't know, I don't, this one won't go to Google because I'll work on it on, let's see, today's Thursday, Thursday, Friday will be Midnight Watch. This one will be Saturday, Sunday. So that one won't go to Google. But then the rest of these guys or at least part of them will. <laughs> Next one, well, a one that is coming is, oh, that is the pattern and not the front. This one, you guys probably already know this one. Halloween Delivery by Plum Street Samplers. These are, again, where Mania starts from 2018. Put that back in there. And this is in a beautiful bag from Dot Dot Goose. Let me see. Hang on. So you can see that inside. Isn't that cute? And this one, it looks like I did not use all the called for colors. I have some thread, thread works in here that I have. And maybe some color and cottons that I have uh, subbed out. But that's where... That one is got some of the coach started. Cool needle minder that I made from something uh, from Hobby Lobby. A little eye of raw on a pyramid. Uh oh, loss coming out of the bag. Get in there. Now I can't squish it all back in there. There we go. Okay. Not in a fancy bag, but next one is Snowy Christmas Quaker Style by REPM. I'm probably saying that wrong. This one is on another gorgeous Sunny Dice fabric. At least I believe it's Sunny Dice. That's what I think it is. That's what it looks and feels like. Yeah, it definitely is. And I have started... Oh, it's almost snow. 
<laughs> lots and lots of snow. Look at that cute little guy. He was from one of the Down Sunshine Lane needle minders um, when she used to have that needle minders month club. So I will be doing lots more. I didn't, it called for chalk for this. I'm using B5200. I want it to be super bright white. So that is where that one's at. And I will probably just work, continue to work on the snow um, and save the good stuff for last. Lots and lots of snow. And then I don't have to worry about taking as much with me um, and trying to keep up with everything. Squish. And next up, this is one of those flatty um, project bags from Stitch Modern. I think that's where it's from. I had two of them. My daughter stole one. And let's see, this is Wedding Row by Bent Creek. Get that right. See that? It says, of my love, be sure. And it's it's meant to be a uh, a wedding announcement. Like you put that down there. I'm not putting our stuff on the bottom because I have a big wedding announcement that I did for us a long time ago. And I subbed out and changed the colors on this big time. Um, I wanted to make it more colorful. So first, I changed mine to pink fabric, and that's where it's at. I just got the love done in the middle. And as you can see, that is a lot of variegated floss. And can you see? Oh, yeah, that's better. And so I picked my main color for the um, letters is Miami by Color and Cotton. And then for the other pieces, I'm doing six strand sweets flosses that I have in mustache. The yellow is for all the little stars. I don't know if you can see those. The purple is for the hearts, and then the um, the swirly stuff on the top is snow cone, and on the bottom is sorbet swirl. <laughs> so it's not it's it's kind of a mixture of fun colors and fun things, and and I love it and using up some of my old flosses. So it's a fun project. And I just love, loved the colors. That one. And these things are really cool. I really do like these um, folders. They're, they do expand a pretty good bit. I mean, you see all that fits in there easily. No problems. They just had a sale the other day, but those weren't on sale because I was going to buy some more. And then next up is another Nora Corbett Fairy Autumn Glow. Kind of the same color scheme as Foxglove. And don't ask me why this isn't a Christmas bag <laughs> from So Much to Love, but that's what it's in, is it a So Much to Love Christmas bag? Should probably switch that out for the Snowy Quaker style. Make sure I'm not, okay, floss stays in the bag. This is not the other half of that fabric, but another Sunny Dyes fabric. And that's where that one is starting out at. So that's what we got going on for the next week or so. Um, again, probably will not have a video for the week that I'm in. It'll probably in, in, in Google in California. The week that I'm out there, I will probably um, just work on stuff, um, do it all when I get back and just work on stuff when I'm out there because, oh, I actually put initials on here. So Fairy Autumn Glow is actually next and then Halloween Delivery and then Snowy Christmas Quaker Style and then I can't, I don't know what my uh, initials there are for. That must be the Bent Creek one. I put you are your love, maybe. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but that would be Fairy Autumn Glow, right? Halloween Delivery, which is that guy. Oh, that's a WR wedding row. Duh. <laughs> yeah. So that's the order. That's the order. Okay. We got it now. I'm not a complete and total moron, but I'll be back late Friday night on the 26th. So 
the the last day of the snowy Christmas Quaker style and wedding row will be done here. So it's all good. I don't even need to take those. Actually, I may switch them up since wedding row is smaller and leave something that's bigger here and just flip them around, make it life easier. But that's uh, kind of what I got going on for right now. No new stash other than my cross stitch, just cross stitch magazine came in, but somebody's already done a flip through that. So I'm not going to worry about it. And yeah, plants. My oldest turns 23 tomorrow. Holy shit. How did I get so old? <laughs> but uh, so taking off a half day to um, to do that. Got family coming into town for his birthday. Taking him out to eat, do all the fun things. And yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. So I'm going to say bye for now. And I will hopefully come back tomorrow or Saturday with some progress. Um, maybe not though, because like I said, I got family in town all week. So we'll see. I may come back on Sunday with some progress and put it all together. Or maybe Monday when I get to California, Monday night, I may put it all together. We'll see. <laughs> all right. Everybody have a great weekend. If I don't talk to you before then, happy stitching. Hopefully it'll be beautiful at your house. And you can, or, or if you want it to be raining outside so you can stay inside and stitch, whatever works. Well, have a good day. Bye, guys. Good morning, Floss Tube. It is. Happy Cinco de Mayo. That's what it is. It's Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. It is Sunday morning and it's been busy. <laughs> I have been remiss and not uh, done any videos to catch up, but uh, I'm, I'm here to hopefully catch up before I take off again. So let's see. Life update first. Okay, so busy, busy week. So last time I talked to you, last little vlog section was um, right before my kid was birthday, who was turned 23. And that was fun. My parents uh, came up, my sister had come down and spent some of the week with my parents. And so my sister and parents came up from the valley. We had a fantastic dinner. Uh, my mom brought not just one, but two birthday cakes. <laughs> his his favorite Oreo cookie cake and then made him an actual chocolate chip cookie cake as well. So yeah, wow, lots of calories in the house that weekend. Um, he wanted to go to um, Marco's Catering, which is only open on Friday and Saturday night. Kiffin was working till late, so we ended up going on Saturday, not his actual birthday, and had a nice little dinner party there, and that was delicious. Everybody visited, played some games, you know, all the fun stuff. And then we, uh, my parents got ready to leave to go back home on Sunday. My sister stayed with us, so she flew back out to St. Louis with me. When I left Monday morning for California, she left to go back home to St. Louis. So that was that. So I had taken stitching with me to California. I actually did stitch maybe 30 minutes a couple of times on uh, Foxglove, Foxglove, Fairy Autumn Glow. Heck, I don't remember. One of them. And uh, it had to be Fairy Autumn Glow because Foxglove I finished before we left. And yeah, it was so busy. Um, we did not plan enough time for 180 people and to do all of their, their occupational health charts, all the onboarding that you're required to do per OSHA um, with fit testing and, you know, hepatitis B, uh, all of those pieces. It just was not enough because we had a team of eight working our way through OSHA respirator questionnaires and getting all of the charts put together. Um, we were, let's see, Monday, we got there about one o'clock, grabbed some lunch and literally worked until midnight. Same thing Tuesday. We worked in, worked from literally 7 a.m. till midnight. Um, and then Wednesday was when we actually started training. <sighs> it actually turned out really, really good. It was very good. We got a lot of good good feedback. Um, we tried to keep it fun. Um, it was, yeah, it was good. It was, it was an amazing time. Um, and then we realized some of the things that we had needed for training didn't get there, um, like the AEDs, the autom automated external defibrillators, um, did not get there. So we weren't able to train, you know, discuss the policy and procedure around them, but we we're actually able to put hands on. 
So some of the things that got pushed into the week that we go on site, which meant that um, we didn't have enough time for week three. So we're like, well, we can't move it. So we need more people to be able to spend time at more sites. And so now I'm going back to California next week, tomorrow, to hit three of the sites um, to take the load off of the person who was training, who was going to be trying to do six sites in five days, four days. <laughs> so long story short, we're trying to make it, you know, make everything happen. And it's, uh, it's a big lift. So that's, yeah, be hidden, heading out at O Dark 30 again tomorrow morning to go back to uh, San Jose. I'll be in Mountain View the whole time, though. Um, but much easier to find to San Jose than San Francisco. So let's see what I have. I have a list. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, okay, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I mean, I literally got such minimal done. I didn't even take a picture while I was in California. So I just gave it its two days when I got home. So got back, was supposed to leave Friday at lunchtime, well, one-ish, two-ish California time. Got a delay before we even ever got to the airport. Get to the airport. We finally get on board. And we, um, everybody has the windows down, you know, because they're like, you know, close the windows so it'll stay cooler because it was warm. And we're taxiing and taxiing and taxiing and taxiing. I'm like, good grief, are we driving to Dallas? <laughs> so eventually we stop and I'm like, oh, good. Yeah, we're next in line to take off, right? So unfortunately, no, we're not. The, the pilot comes on and says, you may have noticed we're back at the gate. Uh, yeah, so there was a some kind of maintenance issue that they needed to um to fix before we could take off and that was i don't know 45 minutes to an hour and luckily in the meantime while we were on the ground american realizes that oh you're not going to make your connection in in dallas so they rebooked me on the one afterward thank goodness there was one afterward because my co-worker who's on the same flight with me did not have another one she got stuck overnight there was not another flight to memphis sucks so she uh yeah she ended up spending the night at the airport which is terrible i mean they gave her a uh, a hotel voucher but by the time we got there you know it was 10 30 at night i was supposed to be home by 8 30 just fyi <laughs> so she went you know looked at where the hotels were that the voucher covered and they were so far away by the time she got there she would maybe get two or three hours of sleep and would have to turn around and come right back. And she didn't have a suitcase because they don't give you your suitcase. You know, it stays on the plane. So she was like, you know, it's just not even worth it. So she just stayed at the airport. All of the minute suites were unfortunately were booked up already. Um, so she was unable. She just stayed, slept on one of the, the loungers at the uh, airport, which is really awful. But is what it is. Um, had a day at home showing on Saturday morning that was crazy scrambling trying to you know because even though they try <laughs> they try my husband and, and son tried to keep the house clean it still needed some TLC Sunday morning I mean Saturday morning <clears throat> so got all that done um Kevin called Saturday Sunday and then after he got finished on Sunday we flew up here to San Antonio because I decided that it was faster to fly from here to San Jose, instead of going from Corpus to Dallas to California, I'm going from San Antonio to Phoenix to California. So going in the right direction, it uh, it was definitely going to be faster and and significantly cheaper. Um, flying out of a tiny airport like Corpus does get does add to the price. So up, up here we came, and then Kevin needed to get a new weight and balance for our plane, so we got that done up in Bernie. And then the weather was going to shit, so he decided to fly back home Tuesday evening so that he could be there in case we had any more house showings that came up. And uh, yeah, he's been down there ever since because the weather's been shit. Um, but we needed the rain, so that, you know, you can never complain about rain in San Antonio. Uh, let's see, what else we got going? So basically, I've been up here with Hannah all week. Um, we did some gardening. I might put in a picture of that. And so we, we pulled out some old yucky stuff. Um, if you can see the the perennials behind her, those are over in front of my neighbor's condo, Irene. But we pulled all the stuff out in front of us and planted some cute succulents. Um, she's at camp right now at work. So 
her plan. She wants to put some more smaller succulents in around them and some rocks. So when she gets done at camp today, I think she said she'd be home by one, um, we will attempt to go to the store and find some more things to fill in because it looks a little empty. And let's see. So we did that on, I think we did that on, was that Friday? No, it had to be Thursday because Friday had to be Thursday evening. Yeah. We went and got them Thursday evening. We planted them Friday before she had to leave to go to camp. I think she had to be at camp at one, one or two. She left for camp at one or two o'clock. And she's in the middle of finals, um, studying like a crazy person. And they have a group final. Have y'all ever heard of that? A group final? How the, how the hell does that work? Anyway, is what it is. Um, so then Friday night, when I finished work, all the Google prep, making sure I've got everybody's stuff ready to go, because all the three different sites that I'm going to, I realized I didn't have any file folders up here. So I'm going to have to go get some file folders today so I can have one for this site, one for that site, one for that site. So all the stuff organized, because I'm going to hit the ground running. Literally, I'm leaving. I should get there at like 9.15, I think is when my plane lands, and I'm Ubering straight to the site. So yeah, it's going to be a long day tomorrow. <laughs> Um, hopefully, hopefully the person that I'm traveling with, um, not traveling with, she's already in California, but she's going to meet me out there. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can finish up a little bit early and because we're both working at the same site, the site we're working at on Monday as the most people. And we're hoping we can get in there and knock it out and maybe go do the Winchester House Mystery Tour. Fingers crossed. The last one is at four o'clock and it's about... A 25 to 30 minute drive from where we're at in Mountain View. So, I don't know. We'll see. If we don't get it done that day, maybe we'll get it done on Tuesday or Wednesday. Because I'm flying home on Thursday. If we don't, I'll do it the next time I'm out there. We did not get to go to do the Alcatraz tour the week before like we wanted to. We had worked so many late nights. Everybody was just tired. Everybody was exhausted. So, we didn't. Um, we just went out to eat somewhere fun there in San Jose. So then Friday night, oh my goodness, the new season of Bridgerton is coming out, pretty quick here. And I had watched season one and two, but I didn't, I hadn't watched Queen Charlotte, the like spinoff, whatever, it's Queen Charlotte's history, you know, how she became Queen Charlotte. And so I binged that on Friday night, <laughs> watched the whole thing. I stayed up way too late, but I got a lot of stitching done. So, hey, there's that. Um, was pretty good. And then, uh, so, so I slept in a little bit on Saturday morning got up, got ready to go, and went to meet um, some of the San Antonio area stitchers. Hey, Angela, and I think Chris, and I don't remember the other person's name. I am terrible with names. I told them that up front. I'm terrible with names. But it was the first time Angela and I had finally got to meet in person because we've been, you know, Facebook, not Facebook, Instagram friends for a long time. And uh, so it was good to finally meet her in person. She's also a Kimmy, which is what Hannah's doing, which is kind of cool. Um but it was it was fun. We we got to do some good stitching and some good discussion and enabled each other a little bit more looking at different things, which is always fun. And then after that, I went over to Under the Sea Fabrics to pick up my uh, my stash of stuff. You know, I have a little folder up in the front where they put my stuff <laughs> that I order that comes in and I come by and grab it. And so Amy was there. Amy Jane was there with one other person who was stitching. Again, sorry, I forget your name. Cute, bright pink t-shirt. I am terrible with names, y'all. Terrible is what it is. But uh, so um, she had to leave to go home and uh, Amy was there all by herself. And so I sat and stitched with Amy till closing time. And then of course picked up some haul, which we'll look at in a little bit. But that was, uh, that was up to yesterday. Then last night I got home and started doing some home improvement. I, I've got so much stuff that I need to, you know, that I'm doing on the condo. I'm looking over at the piece that I'm working on right now. I'm waiting for some uh, spackle to dry before I can paint some more, do a little sanding and some more painting. But there was a, a built-in, almost like a built-in armoire. It had two shelves way up high with doors on them that were almost useless because they were so high you couldn't see in them. And then two doors that had a rickety shelf, like on a, you know, the um, strips where you put the little metal things into and ha that thing was so wobbly, it wasn't even funny. I'm like, oh, that's going to fall out. And And then it had a flip like like if you had a flip down that you would put like laundry into you could put a laundry basket in there only it didn't flip it didn't come out like this it lifted up i was like oh, that's weird and useless because um, you would smack your fingers if you accidentally dropped it and then the bottom was just two more deep cabinets and it's really kind of a deep shelf it's probably a good 20 inches deep but 
I was like, uh, no, we yanked off the whole facade, um, the trim around it and all of the doors. So now it is open. And when I finally finish it, I'll show you all a picture. But right now it's kind of messy. It's a lot messy. And then we put in fixed shelving, you know, put in supports and everything. So it has regular shelving and turning the top two thirds of it into a bookcase. And the bottom is going to be, well, it already is. The bottom is a tip out for the hamper. And then the right side, I was going to make it into like tilted shelves for shoes, the bottom third, but it's got a notch in it. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to decide. I think I may just make them um, flat shelves so I can put like the little cubby baskets in. Let's think. I have to measure and see if I divided it in half what it would be. But yeah, that's that's what I'm working on. I got a lot of painting done last night and and did some spackle last night. And then I needed to do a little bit more. I got to do some sanding this morning. I need to get a new roller because I got in all the little nooks and crannies with the brush yesterday. But I need to get a new roller because that's way faster and it gives it a much better smooth coat. So I'll go get that today when we get uh, more succulents and rocks. So yeah, home improvement. That's what I'm doing the rest of the day today. Let's see what else have I got here on my list. Er, er, er. Yep, leave for Google really, really early tomorrow morning. I got to be at the airport at like four. <sighs> Ugh, yuck. Let's see. Yeah, hopefully four, four thirty at the latest. Um, and then uh, what are we doing? Oh, I fly home on Thursday. Thursday night should be, should be, fingers crossed, home by eight. 15, 8.30 on Friday night here in San Antonio. Get home. Kevin's going to try to fly up on Friday. Maybe Saturday. I mean, maybe. can't talk. Going to try to fly up on Friday morning. And, or Friday afternoon. What, you know, whatever works for his uh, his schedule. And, and the weather. The weather is probably the bigger deciding factor. Because Friday night, we have a dinner in Kerrville. And flight training on Saturday and maybe Sunday and uh, maybe it's just Saturday for the uh, formation flight training for the Oshkosh fly-in in July. Yeah. Okay. So that's the live update. Busy, busy, busy. And then I get to be home for a couple of weeks until Memorial Day. And then I'll be headed to Chicago for another Google site. So let's do some stitching progress. Now, a couple of the projects I do not have with me. Um, I did not bring them. Um, Midnight Watch, I thought I had packed it to, to bring and leave up here since I finished it, working on it for this rotation, but I did not. I left it. So I'm going to put in a picture of what Midnight Watch should look like here. And here will be where it finished. And then the next one was uh, the uh, Christmas Eve by the Prairie Schooler. Again, we'll put in a picture of what it will look like here. And then where I got to on that one. You can see them on Instagram too, if you follow me. But then we had yeah, so I didn't work on any of the things that I had taken with me to, because those are the things I worked on the weekend of the 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, whatever that was, whatever those days were in April. That was Friday's the 19th, 2021. 20, yes, and then, so I guess I really only worked on Christmas Eve for one day. I don't know. We'll see. But no, I worked on, or maybe I only took one picture. I don't know. Regardless, these are the things that I took to California and really didn't work on. I did work on this one just a little bit, make sure there's no floss in there. It's all in the bottom of the bag. So this one is Fairy Autumn Glow by Nora Corbett. I get it to focus. And I took it to California. I did maybe 100 stitches on it in, in the whole week because, yeah, tired. And I think... We'll see. I got a, a good bit done because all that had been done before was kind of this orange stripe right here in the middle. And I think that. So I put in all the purple, all this, and some of the yellow and stuff over here. 
Yeah, good bit down on there. It's going to be very pretty. Very pretty. I like it. So let me get that folded back up. And that, so I worked on that the first two days when I got home. That was probably right Saturday and Sunday last weekend. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to get the piles in the right places. <laughs> <laughs> then I worked on Halloween delivery by Plum Street Samplers, which I do not have the picture facing out on this. I'll make that mistake again. Looks like that. They're focused. And worked on this for two days. Get that back in there. In my cute dot dot goose bag I showed you before. But I got a lot done on this guy. I got the coach, pretty much all of the coach. Well, the, I don't remember if that's coal or. Yeah, that's Week Star Works coal. Um, oh, camera was flipping. That was weird. Um, filled in this tire and spoke the spokes on that and got all of the coal done on this one but I have to go back and do the oh heck I don't even remember what goes around it if that's stepping stone or what but there's another there's like a gray that goes around like the tires and uh but yeah I, I feel pretty happy with the progress on that next up was snowy Christmas Quaker style by RETM. Try to get it to focus and get the glare off. And all I did was work on white. Lots and lots of white. And I almost got, well, almost, I got a good chunk of another motif done. So this over here was done. That's what I got done in my little two nights of stitching, which weren't a lot of time because we were busy doing other stuff. You know, we went grocery shopping one night and we went and got the succulents and stuff one night. So, you know, when I don't finish working till six o'clock, um, don't get a whole lot done in the evening if you're going to bed on time anyway. And that was staying up pretty late as it was. You know, because trying to spend time with my kiddo while I'm up here, knowing she was going to be gone all weekend. And then, so that was Wednesday and Thursday. Then Friday and Saturday night, cute little flighty bag. So that show you really how much, there, there's a Q-snap in there now. It really will expand nicely to hold everything you need in there. So this is what I worked on Friday night while I was binging Queen Charlotte and worked on yesterday while I was with Amy Jane and with Angela and the other San Antonio Stitchers. And I'm thinking I'm so close to a finish. <clears throat> I may work on it again today until I finish it. So you may notice it does not have everything on the end out here. <laughs> I didn't realize until I was stitching yesterday at the library that my fabric's a little short. Well, let's see, can you see that? focus there we go so I left off this heart and this little end squiggle there and I'm not putting the words I think I told you that already so I'm going to end up doing the same thing on this end leave it off this big squiggle on the end and just cutting it off like right there because yeah either I uh miscut miscalculated whatever is a little short but I believe that I can probably knock that out today so that's my plan is to try to finish this today. Assuming that I finish this at some point while I'm waiting for paint to dry, <laughs> I will um, move on to the next project. If not, I will take it to California with me. Get that back in here. So that I'm going to put up there since I'm still working on it. Those other ones get filed away. Hang on. Sorry. 
Oh, for processing. Junk in the way. All right, so assuming I get that done, next project up is, if I can get it out of here without making a mess because there's floss everywhere. Dash away all by Hinsight. Hinsight. Yep, dash away all by Hinsight. This is just on, it looks like, I don't know if that's a 28 or a 32. It looks like a 32, it's small. Um, opal linen and that. Oh, come on, focus, is what I got. One little reindeer and part of another. So that will be a, the next project up. And I did actually did quite a bit of substitution for the flosses on here. I put my little note in that way. I know what's, I put it just right next to the symbol. Just put a post-it note on there so I know what it is. And subbed a lot of color and cottons in there. I got one gentle art, two gentle arts in there. So some of them are probably the actuals, but oh, there's a lot of color and cotton in there. And there's all the jingle bells for them. Because they each get a little jingle bell on their collar. I probably need, I think somebody said if you paint them in uh, clear nail polish, they won't tarnish, because I've put some charms on some of the um, the little Mill Hill kids, and they get really tarnished, and it's really difficult to clean them without uh, tearing them off. So that will be maybe tonight, or it may be the next day. And then the other projects that I have pulled, ready to go to California, because I should, should be able to stitch this, this go round. Um, because uh, I should have the evenings fairly free. Lots of colors in this one. So if you're looking at that color palette and you see that it's all BMC, you probably know it's an Aura Corbett or a mirror, right? This is Snapdragon by Nora Corbett. Focus. There we go. And I believe this is the other half of that fabric that foxglove is on and that's where i am on snapdragon so hopefully i'll make some good progress on that this week i figured snapdragon cute bunnies right F springy type fabric that's got to get packed. And then the other one I'm taking with me, this is a project bag I made, is Halloween Quaker by Leela Studio. Everybody's seen that, so there we go. Ooh, it's weird that it's like if I get too close or put too much, I don't know if it's too bright. I don't know. That's what, It like makes the camera jump. Weird. This is on a ginormous piece of fabric. It has a whole bunch of floss in there. Bunch of classic color works. I think they're all classic color works. I don't know for sure. But I had started a different project on this and realized that it was not going to fit the way I wanted it to. Uh, to Lizzie Kate, something or another. Halloween, flip it, something like that. But uh, I haven't ripped that out yet. Eventually, I will need to. <laughs> oh, that needle minder is so heavy. <laughs> but I love it. Isn't it cool? I got that at Hobby Lobby and made it into a needle minder. That part of the moon and the broom is what I got done when I started it. I believe I've only worked on that one day. Er, come on, focus. Focus. If I put it in front of my face. So that's stitching plans which I forgot to put my little, forgot to say that when I started plans. We just went from progress right into plans, right? That's okay. Scooshing it all over to one side so I can fold it to put it in my suitcase. Should probably stand that up so it doesn't get bent. Again, another reason I really like those little flatty ones, keeps your pattern from getting bent. Come on, get in the right spot. There we go, get all that on one side because then I can just fold it in half like so. All right, 
so that was plans because yeah bought some cute stuff so let's do haul okay so first and foremost i am probably forgetting stuff that is still at home at the coast but this is what i picked up yesterday poop hang on for a second hole for processing something just fell off the desk okay bead pack fell off the desk all right let's get all of the haul over here so before from leaving the library to go into under the sea fabrics uh i decided you know i had told you guys about the tulip pink roar fabrics with uh, the t-rex on it so may um under the sea fabrics is on mainland here in san antonio so when you turn on mainland just a little bit down the road on the right is memories by the yard and then just a little further down on, on the left is under the sea fabrics so i decided to stop in to get some of the new tulip pink roar fabrics that i have told you guys about previously so <clears throat> ended up getting four Let's see, so one of them, and I don't know the names of them, if they actually have different names. Yeah, oh, okay, let's see if it's in here. Oh, this one's called Wing It. <laughs> so it has the um, pterodactyls in it. So there's that fabric focus. Get the camera to stop jumping. jumping. And then this one is called, if I find it, Oh no, they, they they cut right on the name. Trifecta is the name of this one. And so it is, uh, let's see if I can get a good picture. Which way is the better one? It's a Triceratops, get it, Trifecta? Oh, come on, focus. Focus and don't jump. There you go. So too cute. And then the best two for last is the um what is it called tree rex so there is the pink colorway for the tree rex i don't know why that jumps like that and then this one does it is it a different because it's a different colorway or not no still the same name this is with the aqua background gotta love those right i had thought that they had a velociraptor one but if they did, it has already been sold out there, and I will have to find it somewhere else. I love dinosaurs. <laughs> so, had to go get this. I uh, have seen every Jurassic Park movie multiple times. Love it. So, that was when I got it, Memories by the Yard. And then, so then I got my butt right back in the car. Oh, I have to tell a funny. So, as I'm driving over there, I need lunch. It, I'm hungry. So, I'm like, okay. Left the library driving over there I was like oh there's I'm gonna pass a Raising Cane's on Bandera so I was like let me call and see if you know whoever's working I don't know if it was Amy Jane or Leslie or, or um Jen and so I was like oh you know let me call and see if they want me to bring you know grab some lunch nobody answered the phone I'm like well god they must be freaking busy <laughs> you know it's got busy as all hell so I was like oh well you know I, I got I got a bigger meal so I was like you know if they want to split you know they can have some so get there and tell him and I was like I tried to call and see if Amy's like oh lunch <laughs> I was like so I'm trying to call to see if y'all wanted some she's like what the phone didn't ring at all so apparently somebody forgot to put the phone back on the charger and it was dead <laughs> so if anybody tried to call under the sea fabric yesterday and they didn't answer that's why <laughs> needless to say I did share some of my lunch with Amy Jane so things that I had picked up things I had ordered ahead of time so uh what is this called queen of the night by fox and rabbit come on focus there it goes it's funny it's, it's like as soon as it focuses it starts jumping so it calls for um silver cranic braid in the crown and the sorry work thing just popped up on my other screen yes it's sunday <laughs> i'm still google prepping and then it calls for just b5200 for the moons down here we have decided me and abj while i was there well obviously i changed can't get it to open or figure it out but change the clinic to a petite treasure braid which oh my gosh they're emerged now what the heck are they gonna do get rid of all the clinic and then i got glow in the dark petite treasure braid for beautiful and then i had not ordered the they come at night which is 
of the four Luna Moths, also from Fox and Rabbit. This would make a really cool Biscorna, but you'd have to do it on some seriously tiny ass fabric because it is 185 by 185. <laughs> that would just be a really big Biscorna, right? Um, so both of those, they they all use just DMC. And then I picked out some fabric to go, to do them on. This um, fat quarter of Minerva is big enough to do both of them on. So if I need to start a new project, <laughs> I've got them. While Hannah and I are out today, I'll probably take these with me and grab uh, DMC while I'm out, you know, just because that way they're kitted up and ready to go. So I'll put those over there. And then extra that I saw while I was there yesterday as well, that I'm like, hmm, that needs to go home with me, is uh, Deep in the Heart by Screen Door Needleworks. Come on, focus. There it goes. And Christmas at the Beach Triptych by Meridian Designs. All right, focus. Get off the glare. Come on. Focus. Anyway, you can see it's a flamingo, Santa, and a palm tree. And I have these sleds. I'm going to focus on this. Anyway, I have these already. I'm going to do them on the sleds. <laughs> that was really cute. And this takes, oh, dang, I didn't even look at this one. Oh, I probably have both of those. Those are Krennics. I need to use those up anyway. But uh, it's mostly uh, DMC does have some beads that's probably all the lights on the palm tree and then fabric of the month for last month was Bore Bo Boreas Boreas I think and it's a beautiful purple with kind of undertones of gray grayish blue it's showing up a little more purpley here than it is in real life it kind of has some gray undertones let me see if I can change the temperature of the light and make see if that makes a difference. Uh, you're missing the gray undertones in it, but it's still beautiful, even if you can't see it. And then the mirror from last last month, month before, I don't remember. It takes forever to get things in in, in the mail now. Uh, this one's February Amethyst Fairy, which of course my daughter was born in February, and her birthstone is Amethyst, so that one will definitely have to be done. And then the bee kit that fell off, bee kit. And this I love. Um, Leslie and her team are now doing a Delica conversion bead packs because Delicas are just nicer to stitch with. The Mill Hills are too, um, they're not uniform enough. These are much more uniform than the regular Mill Hill seed beads. So Delica conversion has all the little Delica conversions on there. And uh, treasure, yeah, ready to go. I'm pretty sure there's something at home that I have forgotten, but that's okay. So that's what I got. Um, yeah, so hopefully this did not take totally too long. I'll edit some of the stuff in here because I got to put pictures in and, and other things out, and then I'll get it processing, hopefully get it up by the end of the day. I am not promising any videos next week while I'm traveling again, so it may be a week or more before you hear from me again. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, all of the fun stuff that everybody says in every video that I always forget to say. Mostly just glad you're here, you know, so drop me a comment in there. Always happy to talk again. If it's just a, you know, hey, I'll just put a heart and cool stuff. If you're in the San Antonio area though, or Corpus Christi area, let me know. Y'all have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Happy stitching.